Dylan Osborne, here we go. Check that out. Nothing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ah, oh, hello? Hello? Hello, mate. Is he there? I'm here. Is he there? You're oh, there. Oh, my. A heads up to anyone new to this, or anyone uh -huh. that's been wondering what's going on. That's my ringtone, Paramore. Just in case. Oh, it's like, hard times again. Just in case people are like, "Why is that song keep playing?" That's my actual ringtone. I used to I have. I really wish uh, we could license that. I know. I used to have "Call Me Maybe," but then one day it rang out loud in in the shops. I, you know. Then you lost all respect. That one. Call me baby. Yeah. Dude, I know, I, I know it. You uh, didn't know who Daniel Beddingfield was, but you know that. Go figure. Well, but I mumbled most of it, so I, I retain street credibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, barely. So barely. There you go. So, um, what's happening? Apologies for. Well, I'm just going to say sorry first because Yasmin's doing an online training session, so she is has an incredibly loud voice. She so really she's probably going to come through on the mic yeah. uh, with this. So if you hear someone shouting. Uh, sort of kind of personal training commands. That's her. Yeah. It's not me. Lunch. 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 Sweat. <gasps> Knees. I don't know. You know what? That's I, all the words I know, like, exercise wise. <laughs> Do another press up. That's not even how she sounds. No. <laughs> Jesus like Christ. That. Yeah. Yasmin's going to love that. She's like, oh, what is your, you know, oh, oh, so you were speaking about me on the show. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about you like this. <laughs> yeah. How do you represent me? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm a personal trainer. What's happening? You want to yeah. do an online course? Come on, son. Anyway, we are Mark. We're a, week in, we're a full week into this, by the way. We are a full week in. Legends. We, we, week in? Week in? Week yeah, in. we are. This. Do you know what's funny is that I think... On the last couple of days, we've slipped up a bit in terms of um, mm -hmm. cocking around uh, at the end of the end of the episodes. Yeah. Like yesterday, there was all that mess. Your camera kept I on know. turning off. I know. Day before, then my one turned off. I ran out of card, but I think we're getting there. I think, but the the flow of getting it done is, yes. is working better yes. now. Uh, I just had a very busy morning. I can see uh, that because so. I'm I'm currently looking at today's episode that people can't listen to yet. Still processing uh -huh. on YouTube. What is it? Can't even it's uploaded it. though, right? Oh, 99% processed. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's four o'clock like... right now. I should be hitting upload on the on the Iga to the video, but we're yeah. not. We're looking at no, the processing. You know. No, oh, Jesus. Here. Oh well. So, had a Zoom had a, had a Zoom call today. Someone was to got yeah. chat with the client. I patch you in. Okay. Stick you on Zoom. I was like, oh, brilliant. Okay. So, sends me a link, click on the link. Actually, first thing mm -hmm. I say, like, do we have to use Zoom? And they're like, we could use Google Hangouts. I was like, oh, really? Or we could do a, yeah. a video chat through WhatsApp. No, thanks. I was like, do you mm -hmm. know what works all the time? Phone calls. Do the Zoom chat today. Mm. Oh. What you should have done is phoned him, had him record what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Had you record you what you were talking about, yeah. then you edit it together and send it back to him. Yeah. And then say, that's 50 quid, please. Yeah. Do you know what, actually, what was like, quite funny is I was talking to him today. I will mention no uh, names, right? He knows who he is when he's listening to this. And uh, he, and, uh, Does he listen to this? Yeah. Do we know he listens yeah, to this? Yeah, okay, yeah. He's the guy that said you look like, um, what's his face? Uh, Irons. Jeremy Irons. Jeremy mm. Irons. Oh, if this is the guy, oh, yeah. I, I got a, I got, yeah, yeah. I know who. I sent you his home address. I, mean, I should you can name pop him. A visit. Oh, good. But anyway, he he um sticks me on, sends me a link to Zoom. I click on Zoom, doesn't work. Opens up some app, download the Zoom app, that that yeah. fails. The link doesn't work. I message him going, I I know this probably works for you guys, but it doesn't work for me. So he's like Google Hangouts, sends me a link to Google Hangouts. We're on Google mm -hmm. Hangouts as well. Google Hangout crashes the whole computer. I was like, for the love oh, yeah. of God. You know, I'm just one of those people. I'm like, my dad is the same, slightly magnetic. Mm. So like, you know what just it could destroy be? shit like that. Mer Mercury could be in retrograde, which means that all technology goes to shit. Mm -hmm. While but, you're telling your story, I can actually look that up and tell you what it really means. But just for me. It's some kind of, yeah, yeah. 
Well, it's for everyone because I had a similar situation today with another product, but we can get onto that in a minute. So finish your story. So I'm chatting to him. Anyway, eventually, after a lot of back and forths and dicking around, we get this stupid thing working on Google Hangouts. And actually, mm -hmm. it was actually pretty seamless. It was the most seamless video chat I've done with people. Oh, is that in, on Google Hangouts? Google Hangouts. It was great. No, there was no dropout, no audio malfunction, none of that nonsense. So that was pretty good. I'll maybe try that again yeah. with someone. But while I'm chatting to him, uh, there's a guy in here who does podcasts, very good podcasts. And he's been doing them for, for a few years. And um, he's a friend of ours, mutual friend of the two of us, not you, me and the guy. Mm -hmm. And he, your man yeah. says to me today, oh, you're, what's his face is doing this really cool podcast at the minute. I was going, oh, yeah? He goes, yeah, he's phoning people. And he's mm -hmm. having a half an hour conversation over the phone. And he's recording the whole thing and putting it out as a daily podcast. Right. And I was like, that's a great idea, isn't it? That's almost mm. exactly like the thing I told you I'm doing a week ago. Wow. And he goes, is it? I was like, yeah. So just you, when you think people care, no one cares. People only care when they want to copy you. Well, yeah. I don't think the guy copied me or us. Us, there's two of us in this. I, I, I would, I would kind of like to think that we invented having yeah. a phone conversation and recording it and uploading it. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, would be good. Would be good. Uh, we definitely invented it in our new. mind first. We maybe weren't the first people yeah. to execute it. Do you ever have an idea and think I'm the first person to have had that idea? I used to think that, and then I read a book. I think it's called Prometheus Rising, mm -hmm. and basically, no, there is no such thing as a new idea. Okay, really. It always stems from something or other. So it's an amal like only... amalgamation. Yeah, and like there's only like eight stories or something, you know, that are like variations on a story, like the lover story, the action story, the whatever. I can't remember. You can look it up. You can Google it. Yeah, use your so, own yeah, Google. Goes back... we're, not using, we're not wasting we... our Google searches. We've only got no. We've only got an allocated amount. Exactly, and we've only we've only got so much so much time in this half hour. Anyway, yeah, there's only like eight stories, uh -huh. like the hero's journey, basically, and so they all stem from like ancient Greek stories. And if you if you look at the Jesus thing, for example, the Jesus thing, the Jesus thing, as in like you know he was born to a virgin uh -huh. by a supposed god, blah 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 blah. That story happened like about eight to twelve times before that actual date or uh -huh. you know era of time. Mm -hmm. It's just the same story, just regurgitated over and over again. Yeah, a bit like go. our podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bit it's much. kind of, kind of yeah. like Jesus, really. It's so, like, oh, there's three wise men yeah. uploading, to the, uh, to, uploading to the North Star. Also, what hmm. a great message for all the people out there who have faith. Huh? Who have faith. Hey, guys, hmm? I know that story you all believe in, but it's just regurgitation. Hmm. Well, I mean, it is kind of like you can, you can apply it to like Harry Potter and Luke Skywalker. You Jesus know, stuff. and Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, he was born to some, like, you know, uh, a, a half... Well, there was... I think he's... Jeez, this is showing my Harry Potter knowledge here. I think his mother was a wizard. There was his dad a wizard and his mother was a, a human. Jesus' his mother was a wizard. <laughs> Jesus' his mother oh, wasn't a wizard. Harry Potter's Yeah. Mother. Of course. Of course. Yeah. So she's like a... He's, he's like a half-breed. Kind of like Jesus. Half God, yeah. half human. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then goes on to... You're a wizard, you know, Harry. You're yeah, a wizard, Harry. We're going to nail you to a cross, Harry. That never happened. I'm, a, I'm assuming... I I'm assume, well, What are we talking about here? Jesus or Harry Potter? I. Well, this is it. Who knows? <laughs> They're both the same story. Or are we talking about Luke Skywalker? <laughs> or are we just making this up and this is a thought uh, no one's ever had before? No one's had... I don't... I'm assuming then you're not religious by that statement. Me? Yeah. No. What? No. Yeah, I believe I. in Harry Potter. What yeah, I believe. <laughs> Harry Potter's right. I've been to Harry Potter World. I've seen it. I've been to Diagon Alley. It's there. It's real. Uh, Diagon Alley. There you go. Diagon Is Alley. Is it Diagon? Is yeah. it Diagon? Diagon? Di I don't know. Dog and Crescent. I've been there. Something completely the different. The Dog and Crescent. We, we've the both been there. The Dog and Crescent. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. there you go. Okay. Okay. So we, we're a week yeah. into this. Result. Well done. Yes, we are. Well done. Virtual handshake. I'll reach over to you. You reach over to me. I think I've mm -hmm. gone too far. I'm out nice. of my own shot. I'll pull back a bit. Try again. Okay, hang on. Oh, we'll yeah, about there. Oh, yeah, that, that feels good. It. Um, yeah, always that's, does. That's a success. So yeah, there you is. go. And then I suppose the fact that we haven't uploaded 
the current podcast, which is I'm downloading now, I'm going to put on, yeah. on IGTV. Uh, it's kind of irrelevant because we were chatting about you know lock lock potential lockdown. Guess what? Mm. Yeah, we're locked down. Yeah. So there you Having go. said that, we did both go out today. True. I went, under, get, under, I went to get under medicine, the conditions though. though. Yeah. Under the conditions. Yeah. I went to get. We medicine. had to go. We went out. Well, we obviously we have to walk to our uh, Sainsbury's, uh, which is nearby. Do you have so to? So we got our exercise. Well, we have we've run out of food because we never panic bought. We just carried on shopping as normal. Yeah, like and then just turning regular, up and going responsible human yeah, beings. You know, yeah. once a week, you know, you get your stuff and that's it. And then we get like deliveries from like Yasmin likes using these organic vegetable places. Classic. So we, we get that, and uh, yeah, so we were shopping normally, and then all of a sudden we didn't, we couldn't get certain things because everyone had bought everything. So now we went today, and it was actually pretty. Um, it was fine. The only thing we couldn't get was eggs and we got them from the petrol station down the road i know the petrol station's been the surprise for me because yeah. i went to Amazing. the petrol station um and got a whole chicken i mean <laughs> dead and you know plucked ready to oh, it eat it wasn't like it was filling like, up its car yeah and you just you know it wasn't just running around and i'm just yeah. like oh brilliant take that with me grab it by the what's the call thing called the under a chicken tail no under oh, the, the throat the I want to say udder. The, the no, gooblets. It's not udder, is it? The giblets. <laughs> giblets? <laughs> I know, is it giblets? Ah, grabbed it by its throat, throat. Picked it up by its okay, throat. Yeah. Dragged it fucking home. Yeah, Come fair with enough. Me. Come with me, little chicken. So yeah, and I was quite surprised at that. And they had eggs. Bog roll. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So well, Ours hasn't had bog roll for a while now. But I was quite surprised at old Boris giving us little to no time. I mean, not not that I disagree with that. Mm-hmm. Um, I said that was I think that's a good I totally agree with the whole lockdown thing because ev- yeah. like, everyone's taken the piss well it's um, like a snow day or bank holiday isn't it that's what everyone's treating it like really yeah they think they it's, think it's a day off work where it's really it a day is. it's a day to try not to die mm. you know yeah so yeah. I was like cool I agree <laughs> with that I, I love this podcast it goes from because of the time we've done this it goes from being quite you know jolly to bleak yeah, in, yeah. in one yeah. sentence yeah it's having like, a laugh oh, we're having a... potentially death I remember where we are yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly okay, great. Um, but anyway it was just the fact that he was like mm. midnight I was like holy shit that's not a lot of time Boris let me just get my shit together See, so I had to is... I legged it yesterday yeah. after I did my Instagram live bounced in the old yeah. van and sent it to my studio in Belfast mm-hmm. because I was like I need I've actually got some work I need to do some new work coming in um, mm-hmm. so I need to do some photos now obviously I'm not going to get the studio because we're locked up, so I'm going to build one in my garage mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. I had to go get that shit good idea and I just mm-hmm. I got there and I thought you know, if I'm not going to be here for effective minimum three weeks probably a month I probably I'm probably done I'm probably just going to call yeah. it quits with the studio yeah. so I just yeah. I just put everything into my van uh, there's still like a couple of things there that I that I couldn't get yeah. in, and I got I filled the van. I got everything in except mm. the kitchen sink. That's actually a literal kitchen sink yeah. as well, isn't it? Not a joke. The mm. actual, you know, the sink in my studio. You've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sink yeah. and my stand up desk. Mm. Um, okay. And I was like, yeah, but I, I had, I've got two other desks that I brought back. But literally, mm. my van is just rammed full of stuff, and I just like wow. fucking I did it, and then illegally left quarter past 12 so yeah. on the roads after curfew i tell you what i've yeah. never been so freaked out driving around i'm not one like no. to get freaked out by the dark but i was driving yeah. th- straight through belfast city center yesterday was it at busy? about was half it? 12 no there was nothing i filmed it right i'll, I'll send mm. you a clip um, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, should we put it up on screen now? Yeah, yeah. Why not? I'll just send you a bit. Let's, put, let's, on put, screen let's now. put it in the middle, and we'll have that running while you're talking. No, 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 no. You need to be quiet for it, so don't put it up yet. I'll oh, explain okay, it, okay. then you'll just pop it up. And we'll look at it for five seconds. It, oh, okay, it's good. basically you just let me know. When. It's, it's basically like I was driving down a road, and I was filming because there was no one around. All right, it was still illegal, mm-hmm. but it doesn't matter. I stopped the van and turned the engine off at the traffic lights. And then mm. just filmed out the window of the van at the, at the set of traffic lights. And there was mm. just no noise. And you know what you could hear? Birds. Mm. Amazing, isn't it? It was so cool and so freaky. At this part, I just kept looking around. Like I was like, I kind of got this feeling. Do you know when like you watch those apocalypse movies and like someone manages to 
find a car with fuel in it and drive it yeah, and yeah, they're yeah, driving yeah. like a maniac and they're looking around I just I don't know why but in my head I was just expecting like groups of dudes with big beards all dressed in camo to just step out from behind a building with baseball bats and like machine guns and just stop the van yeah. and kick me out yeah and I was just like it was it was really surreal okay so shall we watch that clip right now yeah let's do that now How weird is that? That is very weird. I'm assuming that's weird because I haven't seen it yet, but I will I will go with don't, that. Don't spoil the illusion. Okay, that is so sorry. weird. Anyway, so that was that. Mm. Yeah, that was very interesting. There's a bit, it's kind of sad ripping I, all the shit down in my studio because I've spent ages getting it to that point, but uh, I just like, I just, well, I was like, know. I don't want to blow out a load of money over the next, I don't know how long it's going to go I, on for. I mean, I've got a feeling because they're saying they're gonna, well they're reviewing it daily ah, but tonight's gonna no it's probably not is it mm -hmm. um over the next well they say i think they're gonna review it in three weeks time but they're re obviously they're reviewing it on a daily basis but there yeah. is part of me even like today we went out and there's still it was a lot quieter than yesterday but still not like empty like yeah. what you're describing and i saw a couple of posts online this morning in fact aaron craskell uh put up a couple of posts that people had sent and the tr tubes in London are still rammed with people. What? And it's like, are they it's going madness, to work? Right? Are that, uh, you know, are there that many NHS people? And so now we're asking, obviously, for more clarity on who can work and who can't work. Yeah. And it's nuts. And it's, 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 yeah, so I think in three weeks' time, you know, I don't think the British people are getting it. Yeah. So I've got a, I've got a feeling in three weeks time, we're still going to be in the same place and we're going to, it's going to get a lot worse for us in, in a kind of, sadly, in a kind of Italy kind of way, uh, yeah. which is not, which isn't cool. Um, but it is what it is and we are where we are. So, uh, yeah, I just encourage people to stay at home and just, just be sensible. Yeah. I think that's the, that's the, that's the, um, that's the, that's, that's the advice. It was, I guess, did you I watch, uh, excuse me, I'm yawning. Oh, I'm bored of this. Yeah, <laughs> are you? Did you watch Boris's uh, yeah, address to the I thing? Did. I thought it was pretty good. I did. You know what? I, a lot of people give him grief, uh, and I don't know if we've said this before, but I, I've never been a huge fan of him or politics or mm -hmm. you know people like that in general. But to be fair, you're given a, a really shitty deck of cards, barely a deck of cards. Yeah, maybe just a few you know bits of ripped up paper saying, "Oh, there's an ace of spades on that somewhere." Yeah. And uh, he's dealing with it in the best way he knows, which is on a day-to-day, hour-by-hour basis. And to be quite honest, I would not like to be in his shoes. So no. I think whatever decision he makes, he's going to piss a whole load of people off. And whatever decision he doesn't make, he's going to piss a whole load of people off. People are going to die, whether he makes decisions or not, you know. And the decisions he does make, you know, it depends on how many people will die. I mean, what a kind of, what a horrible place to be, you yeah. know. Yeah, totally. As a as a human being, because I mean, last night, I mean, it's funny you were saying that you were like freaked out by that whole, um, you know, driving through Belfast. I watched his speech, and then they were uh, going on about, oh, we've never seen this ever. No, uh, yeah, you know, in, ever, like even in World War One, World War Two, we've never seen this kind of lockdown. And I actually, for a brief second, I used to get anxiety and panic attack, panic attacks. I almost felt one coming on, because mm -hmm. I was like, uh, one thing I've always been very scared of is going to prison to jail yeah. i don't like the idea of being locked in a space where you can't get out you can't go in that freedom yeah, literally yeah. you know well we all know what jail is right yeah i felt all of a sudden I, I, we I all know what freedom is right yeah. yeah we all know what freedom right. is yeah good that feeling well most of us do um and yeah i felt like even though you know you've got the ps4 in the background we can go out and get food you know i can, I can go and take food to my granddad if i need to you know it's not like we're in prison, you know, by a, yeah. in a six by six cell going, right, that's it. You're fucked. That's gruel for, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner for 40 years. Good luck. See you at the end. You know, it's like it's like a mild sort of imprisonment. And just that kind of you're in lockdown. You're not going anywhere. You're doing as you're told. It actually almost induced some kind of panic attack in me. Yeah. And I was like, I did not like that at all. It was it was pretty horrible. But it's nice. We went out today. We went and had a little bit of exercise, went shopping. But yeah, it's 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 very it's very bizarre times. 
it is it is like that was the first time i've ever seen anything like that that address to Mm. to the people direct to camera i I was like the only time i've seen that is in hollywood movies and you go like Mm. they like they do it like that i mean to be a little bit critical i feel like they could have worked on the backdrop a bit better you know could have brushed his hair as well yeah wow no because that's his signature thing but they could have lit that up with some loom cubes in the back Maybe yeah. a neon quick, purple quick, get light. Quick, light on yeah. it. Yeah, aperture. Get a couple of lights Where in, the were back, you guys? in the back there. You know, I yeah. could have a soft box set up. But um, mm. yeah, it was totally weird. I was like, this is it insane. Was, yeah. This is like watching a movie. And it, it is, is such yeah. a crazy, it is such a crazy lockdown. And that whole anxiety thing, dude, I'm feeling that as well. And I don't normally, mm. it's not something I get, but I have felt like real uh, in the chest for the last week. And it's yeah. not pain. It, yeah. it is just pure, like, it's just pure anxiety. So I, that's is. why I just keep try to keep myself busy um, and I just actually, distract I was myself. Really, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do as well. I mean, I've read, a, you know, these articles go around and it's it's so hard to, to know what to believe and who to read. You know, it's there's so much shit going on. And, you know, they were saying, that article I was reading was saying that it's the economic uh, impact is going to far outweigh the uh, amount of people that actually die. And yeah. there'll probably be more people that die from ba- like you know being bankrupt, not having money anymore, uh, being kicked out of their houses, poverty, that kind of stuff. Yeah. That you know this article was suggesting that you know we could see ye- years and years to come of the devastation that this will cause, um, not just through like the actual illness, but through other monetary uh, sort of ways, as it were. And it that's pretty scary too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. This 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 will go on for years. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, doom and gloom. Fuck me! I'm glad I phoned you or you phoned me. Thanks for the call. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Well, at least we could share it with everyone. Yeah, this is the. F- What's your clock sitting at, on your? Uh, my my phone or my on camera? On your recording. Uh, about twenty two minutes, twenty two uh, fifteen. Okay. okay, thought mine had yeah. stopped there for a second. Um, yeah. No, that's cool. Uh, yeah. So um, wow. Back. Who, yeah. who knows who actually no. knows so I brought my I brought knows, all yeah. my shit home so mm, I'm gonna cool. um, gonna go and tr- I'm gonna build re- re- try to rebuild my iMac why not ah oh, why not you got why the not? time got the time got the know how <laughs> and you can still get stuff delivered if you need another motherboard or yeah. whatever yeah you know I know see imagine if they stop delivering shit because I realise I know coffee nah, see, so that's th- well, that's the that, that's a that's a they can't stop that. No, because then, but at the same time, we try to order food from Tesco because I said, Pammy, maybe it's just worth just ordering, mm. you know, Tesco's next like available date, even if it's three weeks time, and you can't even get that. Yeah. Um, but I think as long as yeah, as long as we can get out and about to the shops and things like that, yeah. that's cool. But I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna I've ordered already. I've got uh, what have I got? RAM and the new solid state drive. So I'm gonna yeah. do what any normal sane human being would do. And remove the yeah. full screen off my iMac and just re- oh, okay. replace some stuff. Because, right. you know, I have screwdrivers and I bought the tools, so I got the stuff. It means I must be qualified to do it. Yeah. And then you should make a YouTube video on it, do, showing yeah. your expertise. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, talking about that uh, delivery thing, Yasmin went online to Ocado last night mm-hmm. and she was 3,639 in a queue of. 6,000 odd people and it said and this was a virtual queue and you're like wow okay that's Uh fine they said leave your browser open blah 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 this morning she'd forgotten (laughs) she'd actually left it on she was like 1,500 out of 44,000 people oh my god yeah isn't that nuts it's just to order online and she's still waiting yeah just to order online that's nuts that is nuts and I, I yeah, so it's uh, yeah. I mean, to be honest, but like you know, today we we got yeah. The only thing we couldn't get was eggs. So yeah, I you know, yeah. I'm, I think I, to through. be honest, man. Do you know what? Like, it, all negativity aside, right? And there's a mm. lot of negative, lot of reasons, Ooh, lot, of lot of reasons, reasons to be yeah. negative right now. But mm-hmm. it's definitely making me see a load of stuff differently. I'm starting to like, oh, yeah. I'm starting to appreciate appreciate what food I have. I'd be like, mm. maybe I'll just eat the rind of that. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll eat that last slice of bread and not just fuck it mm. out to the pigeons. That you know? cat food looks pretty good. <laughs> mm. I'll just lick the bottom of that tray, will I? Um, 
Yeah, I'll cook with the grease from that pan. No, but I mean, like, it's just I, I've I've eaten a hell of a lot less in the last the last week and a half. Like, yeah. generally, you know, I consumed a lot less, drank a lot more water, but drinking a lot more tea. Mm. But just yeah, oh fuck, which is tea. tea all day, herbal tea, Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, I'm just all drinking. Day. Yeah, did a bit of. Are you drinking all the tea? Uh, a bit oh, of mix. Yeah. yeah, well, coffee in the morning, mm. tea in the afternoon, herbal tea at night. Yeah, but yeah, just like just. Um, not a bogey, by the way. Anyone that's watching me that just saw me scratch my nose and then play with it in my fingers, just I have a cut on my thumb. Where's the where's the focus point? Cut on my thumb. All right. Just because if you looked at that, you'd be like, did he just pick his nose and then roll it? Not totally doing that. Did. But if I did, I'd flick totally it your way, like that. Oh, good. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh, um, I hope that works. But yeah, so really like appreciating that, and I guess just appreciating being at home around the family a lot more. Um, mm. It's hard to get that balance right of spending time and then also try to keep yourself busy, which is hard. But uh, yeah, I think yeah. I think we're really going to appreciate a lot more about work and and jobs and opportunities and things that you can do and things that are in your control that you can change because that is often something I think a lot of people forget. Like yeah. prime example working as a freelancer hmm all right i'm just gonna stop and record again on the camera okay just so we know just because i was recording a little bit before you there you done yeah i'm done so uh like when you're normally working and you're panicking about new work coming in you know how am i gonna find this thing how am i gonna get this and that's a bit of a panic and that can be really worrying, but it's one of those, you put yourself into a shitter situation in that, suddenly that doesn't seem so scary. Mm. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's this like, is pretty scary, yeah. Yeah, like right now, you're like thinking, like it's like to get work now is very, very hard. But mm. if they were to, if this was all to be gone, you'd be like, oh, I'll be totally fine. I'll, I'll go and find work. That's mm. not going to be a problem. So it's kind of, maybe it'll bring out, a, a lot of us will come out the other end of it a bit stronger. It's definitely going to have an effect well, on a lot of on a lot of people, but... I think it will, but it's also that if you look at those people that are ignoring everything as well and just going out and doing what they do, mm -hmm. you know, will it ever balance out? You know, because like obviously, I mean, like you're saying, yeah, we'll come out of this and go, shit, I appreciate stuff a lot more. And wow, that was a really, you know, you'll tell your grandkids, oh, yeah, 2020. Holy fuck. Yeah. What a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could I, I could tell you some stories. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know. Uh, and then there's going to be a whole load of people that are just carried on doing whatever the fuck they normally do, and will they? Will that? Will that change anything? Will they even? I mean, I well, no. Well, yeah, I'm hoping actually. And you were talking about the birds uh, earlier on, uh, and it, I, I don't know if it's just my perception, but the air does feel that little bit cleaner in London. Does it? Does it I don't actually? Know if it, yeah. I thought yeah, this. We I thought this yesterday, car. and again today when I was driving, when I was one wheeling back from the chemist, and yeah. I just saw like what felt I don't know if I just noticed them more but I yeah. heard them and felt yeah. them and it was just birds flying around and I felt like mm. oh are there normally that many birds or is that a new thing or is it because you've been inside so long <laughs> yeah you forgot this is what, what it's like forgot what the noise of birds <gasps> what is that <laughs> oh oh look there's a badger and a yeah. bunny rabbit <gasps> oh my outside God. City Hall in Belfast yeah like, what I don't the know I just doing? but yeah. have you not you've noticed that where you are yeah, I mean, well, we've noticed because generally we went, okay, there's this exhibition on all about time and that kind of thing and how the, how the, the world is just, uh, it's so full of the internet and people not taking enough time to sleep and all that kind of stuff. And they were actually at one point they were talking about birds in cities. Mm -hmm. And what you'll notice in a city now is that birds actually start to um, start making their noise and waking up earlier, like pre-rush hour, okay. because what they're doing is they're all calling to each other waking each other up doing whatever birds do at that time in the morning and normally it would be at a certain time but now they've learned to do it earlier because all the cars in the rush hour make so much noise that they can't communicate properly really? so they have to do it earlier and i've noticed that the birds have actually started chirping a bit later than they do normally there you go uh, yeah there Again, you go i mean as if that you know, cheap conversation we had in the igtv last year wasn't thrilling enough now you're a fucking bird expert. 
<laughs> no, but I do agree with you. I think that is that is. I have definitely felt what you're saying there is that air feels cleaner. I have de- and I don't know if it's placebo effect or not, but it definitely yeah yeah should be. feel it feels quite different out there, and it feels it's so like quiet as well. it's like I oh wonder what effect this is having on the environment. You know, if you think because well, you consider everyone stopped driving like well a huge portion of people all around the world have stopped driving you know and, yeah. and like it does make you think a little bit yeah now I've only started thinking of it now I'm um, like imagine if it was a whole conspiracy to save the environment I was thinking back about to this Greta today you know I, back I, no, to Greta I swear it's, it's she's Greta fucking, it's, she's and her team it. They no, might I was, think, do, I was release thinking a virus exactly the same thing. It grounds today. them all to a halt so none of these yeah. fuckers can drive. The only downside mm. to her plan, Greta, if you're listening, this is the downside, mm. love, is <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> wow, okay. <gasps> no yeah. one gives a fuck about plastic bags. They're just like, yeah. plastic bag? Yeah, fucking give it to me. I'll stick it straight up a turtle's asshole. You know, it's well, just like, like, I'm just know, like plastic everywhere. Plastic gloves, fucking rubber gloves. Thro- who gives a say, shit? Everyone's everyone... using plastic, so that's but, a slight downside. But maybe, maybe that's what maybe, she's using to make the virus. Yeah, but maybe. <laughs> Disclaimer: like the thing We're is, not actually saying it's just a, hi- a hypothesis theory. Uh, it's, it's it's just it's ramblings of of two mental people. Yeah. Yes. That's 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 right. Pop that's, that up on the screen at the bottom, right. just so we have a disclaimer. Right. Disclaimer: This yeah. may or may not be true. Yeah, right yeah. there. You no, can see I, it. I, I was actually thinking that exactly today. I was like, "Is this? It might have not even be her. It could just be the planet in general going. Yeah. You know what we're gonna do? Let's fucking get rid of all the old people, and if they don't listen, we'll start killing the younger people, and yeah. we'll just keep on going down until everyone's fucking just stops. Yeah. And uh, if they don't stop, well, that's the end of them. Yeah. It's kind of like. Uh, it's it's the it's the meteor storm that she did for the dinosaurs who clearly yeah. were yeah. fucking about yeah who clearly also you know, in their fucking, cars yeah yeah you know using plastic bottles once yeah throwing cranking them in the up sea. volcanoes kicking yeah. them getting yeah. them to explode fucking, you know. fucking dinosaurs bastards I blame the dinosaurs <laughs> yeah this is your fault we're having to fucking deal with this shit now he is bastards yeah. but yeah it, it's a it is a theory isn't it. Mm. No, I like it because I'm actually and they let's, get were, it, let's get that pushed out. I've got another. Let's get that onto the mainstream media. For Go for it. I've got another. I mean, really look, we're over time. Well, we're at thirty, but who cares? Because we control this yeah. podcast. We're pushing yeah, we a four or five like. minutes today again. Go exactly. Uh, so I can't remember what program I was watching, but there didn't. was this place in uh, Amsterdam, I think it was, or <laughs> yeah, Holland, let's uh-huh. say, and um, basically they'd cleared this whole wetlands, marshlands. Uh-huh. Um, you know to to create more space for people to cycle and enjoy the environment and wildlife and all that kind of stuff it only took something like three months for like it to really start to to grow and look wild again and i thought wow that's like that's pretty incredible like if you just get rid of humans from that space Mm -hmm. like in three months the wildlife starts to come back and like when they did the film they were talking about the three months but this was like three years later and it was just like completely wild it looked amazing and you just think, yeah, my, it's like nature works that. really quick. Yeah, it works really quick to to get back to where it was. Yeah, and like they say, there's, do, I can't. We probably said this before, but in Venice, apparently the water, like you know, all the waterways there are cleaner mm. than they have been, like since in in living memory. Really? And you think, yeah. And you can actually see there's if you can look it up on the internet there why is why not um, you know because we're connected to yeah. the internet let's do yeah, it yeah we're connected still oh, my keyboard's about. not connected to my computer there yeah. come on keyboard but, uh, and go. if you look up apparently yes. there's there's um Water. quality yeah there's there's a uh, uh, what's it called satellite pictures of China and because obviously everything stopped there you can see like a before and after of how much smog and like shit there was in the air. Uh-huh. and how it looks now and it's like all the orange or blue or whatever it was signifying mm-hmm. the co2 has just disappeared oh yeah and you think that's what less like three months oh yeah look at that interesting oh have you actually googled that yeah of course buddy oh s- send me that so we can put it on screen now now there you go up there, there you go proof also saw yeah. this article's popped up come on this one here do you know what fucking uh, annoys me all right <laughs> And I understand why they do it, but also nah. don't fucking come up in my Google search and definitely don't advertise to me news broadcast 
fucking places. When they go, you search something and they give you the answer. This is the article about it. And you click on the motherfucker and it's like subscribe or you can't oh. read the news. Financial Times. Absolutely you no can way. fuck off. But I keep doing yeah. it to me. Every time I Google something, Financial Times, there's exactly what you want to read, Dylan. But first off, give us your details. How about <laughs> suck on my... <laughs> so CNBC, air pollution falls as coronavirus slows travel. Okay? Yeah. That's a positive. Scientists come mm. in here and ruin it. But scientists mm. warn of a longer term threat to climate change progress. Really, lads? Oh. So we've just cancelled all airline flight in the world and they're yeah. still moaning. Exactly. Oh, the water's <laughs> got better, the birds have got louder and no one's flying or driving. But oh, climate change is still difficult. Yes, but right now we're just trying not to die. So let's try not to die first. <laughs> then we'll get back on the climate change, guys. Okay. Yeah. Or well, maybe it does need to be the other way around. Maybe we need to die and then work on the climate change. They're saying unintended yeah. air pollution declines from virus outbreak but it's just temporary. What are they saying? The minute this is out, I'm going straight into my garage, just revving the engine. Just saying, fucking rev that engine for a, for a full day. I think that's what they're implying. I think I, that's what... I was, actually, I was actually thinking that as well. It's like the moment everyone goes, right, okay, we're all cool, everyone out. It's like, yeah, you can just imagine, it's going to be like a scene out of Mad Max. Yeah. You know, everyone just gets their fucking, you know, big ass cars out, fills it with diesel, gasoline, revving gasoline. away. Gasoline. Gasoline. With a Z. Guzzling or whatever yeah. they call it. Guzzling. In Mad Max. Yeah. Guzzling. Guzzling. Whatever. Anyway. Cool. Yeah. We discussed some stuff. Hopefully we had a laugh. Shared some facts. <laughs> <laughs> actual we've evolved facts. Into, it, you know, we've, <laughs> we've evolved into actual facts. Yeah. Which is, and also uh, we've become big, the coronavirus podcast as well. 0800 yeah. coronavirus if you want to speak to us. Yeah. <laughs> If you oh. want facts and yeah. actual proper, you know, knowledge, come yeah. to us about coronavirus and the environment. And the environment. But do actually, like, send us, send us your questions. Do send us some topics. I'm going to write some topics down so we don't keep ending up <laughs> oh my talking God. very morbidly about this. You know, what do you want to hear? <laughs> no, hey, don't Hey, do guys, that. doing don't a podcast. Do what do you want to hear? <laughs> yeah. Now we joke. Don't worry. We got it. We've got the topics. But if you've anything yeah, all. interesting or amusing that you think you'd like to hear us talk, like classic example, right? Mm -hmm. Put this one in the polls. Okay. Peanut. I had a peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and jam sandwich today. I saw this story. All right. I just put it on my Instagram. If you haven't seen yeah, it, yeah. go follow my Instagram, Dottie's Photos. <laughs> Shameless plug. Could you put my my Instagram handle on this? Bing with a little noise. No. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. It's down maybe there anyway because I, I control the Instagram. Maybe I, maybe I put someone else's handle down there. It's Will Smith. <laughs> he hasn't replied to me. The get. I know. What um, a bastard. Yeah. Will Smith. If you're listening. If you're to listening. This, yeah. <laughs> get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take your inside out blazer and stick it up your hole. But yeah, um, yeah I was like. I was putting butter onto my bread and Pam was like, what yeah, yeah. the fuck are you doing? And I was like, I'm buttering my bread. She was like, you're putting peanut butter mm -hmm. on it. I was like, yes. She said, you don't uh -huh. put butter on before peanut butter. And I was mm -hmm. like, uh, you do because butter's not an option in a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. And you're all about sandwich protocol. Butter. Oh, fuck with, yeah. With butter, with peanut butter? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. See? Because it's not an option. I... It's like when you go to get a, it's like you go to like a, a, like a deli counter. And you go, hi, yeah. can I get a chicken and whatever sandwich? And they go, mayonnaise or butter? And I go, mm. Mm. both, because it's a yeah. sandwich. Okay. But, uh... But, uh... I, see, uh, uh, but, but, uh, uh <laughs> wow, you see what I did there? I don't agree with the jam, though. Ah. Uh, or jello, or whatever. It's not really up for debate, though. Well, I'm just saying, I'm not... I, uh, peanut butter, butter and peanut butter, 100%. Yeah. Definitely. Butter, peanut butter, and jam. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you can leave the jam. Don't need the jam. Let me give you another weird one. Okay. Peanut butter. Mm hmm. And honey in a sandwich. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that. Right. Okay. While we're at it. But like that's a, that's a ta that's just a tasting. Okay. While we're at it, another. I don't weird... disagree with it. Fine. 
Yeah. You you can. You're your own human being, yeah. buddy. You can disagree mm-hmm. if you want. What about this one? This is a sandwich I love. Mm-hmm. Raspberry jam. Mm-hmm. And cheddar cheese. <laughs> Seriously, no, you don't. I swear, you know to what God. that's kind of that's like a poor man's. You know, when you go to a proper nice restaurant, then they uh-huh. give you the cheese selection at the uh-huh. end with like some oh, kind yeah, of chutney. Oh yeah, a bit of chutney on it. Yeah. That's like a that's like a, yeah. a a poor man's whatever that's yeah. called cheese cheese spread. Dude, it's fucking amazing though. Amazing, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you like okay? Do you like and um, crisp sandwiches? I mean, I I mean, look, do I like, like them? I don't. I don't have an issue with, with a bit of salt and vinegar chips. I don't have an issue with that at all. Chips. I'm not making myself that. Because I, I used you know, to a lot. I don't live in the third world anymore. <laughs> but I, he I don't says know. making a peanut butter <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> he says putting raspberry jam on his cheddar cheese. Um, <laughs> but then, like, I also have. I would cut up an apple into cubes and cut mm-hmm. up cheese into cubes, uh, and then just have cheese and apple. Yeah, all Do the that. time. Cheese and grapes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Acceptable. 100%. Some people think that's freaking yeah. weird. Cheese and grapes. Yeah. No, that's fine. Shit here. Biggest food question on the planet. Pineapple okay, on a okay. pizza. Hundred percent. Fucking right. Pineapple yeah, on a pizza and every pineapple. single day. We bought day. one of those today. Ham and did. pineapple. Fucking love it. Love a pineapple Absolutely. on a pizza. Do you want? Know you know what's definitely not for a pizza. Sweet what's corn. That? If no, you I, eat sweet, sweet corn, corn on a pizza, <laughs> please sweet unsubscribe right now. Yeah, so we, no, sweet corn's not for anything. Sweet corn should be eaten corn. by itself. I love sweet corn by itself. Put it on anything, no thanks. Put it on a pizza, disowning you for life. Like, well, I'm not really disowning you because my wife eats it all the time. I hate sweet mm. corn on, sh- like, she's she'll eat, she has fucking sweet corn and tuna sandwiches. Is there anything on oh this my planet God. that makes you want to throw up more than the idea of soft bread with lumps of sweet corn? <gasps> Have you ever done that thing where you pick one off, like you know, when you're eating it, like a like you would uh, a corn on the cob kind of thing, mm-hmm. and you pick it off and you squeeze it, and it looks like a zit. No, that will put you off eating Jesus. sweet corn forever. Do it next no. time you do it. You'll, you'll never no. eat sweet corn again. Yeah, just seriously. That's disgusting. But is that yeah, sweet corn is. though? That's corn on the cob. Isn't it different? Whatever, it's the same thing. Isn't, isn't no, it? Is, it, is it though? I don't think. Well, it you is. just you pull them off and put them in a sandwich. Don't well, you? don't be pulling anything off. All right. <laughs> I put it in your sandwich. I definitely don't put it in my fucking sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always thought sweet corn was I mean yes it's the same thing but mm. when people go it's also popcorn, I'm, having, isn't it? I'm having a sweet corn they're like no you're fucking not you're having corn on the cob sweet corn is when it's removed from the cob and left in a, a watery weird substance to go sweeter in a can uh, what happened but isn't I'm not sure what that's well, based on when they dry it out no no popcorn's the thing you get in the cinema buddy and they actually yeah, yeah, heat but, it up till it pops yeah but it's the corn yeah. Is that not corn from corn on the cob, which is sweet corn, it's, which is it's dried cor- out, it's and then corn you corn from it. corn on the cob? Yeah, but, but it's not sweet and, corn. Yeah, but then corn on the cob, you take it off, and then you put it through a process which makes uh-huh. it sweet corn. Uh-huh. Corn on the cob, you take it off, you put it through a heating process, and uh-huh. it's popcorn. Sweet corn, or corn on the cob. I mean, this is definitely worth us going over the thirty-minute mark for. Well, we're going uh, over the 45 minute mark at the moment. I almost. mean, no one's giving me answers to this. The okay. difference between sweet corn and field corn. Okay. What's oh, the God. difference? Sit back, oh, folks. God. Grab yourselves a cob <laughs> and let's chat this through. Corn oh. in India, not interested in Indian corn. Sweet corn, I don't know. Field corn, I'm not really sure. Sweet corn is harvested oh. when it looks like this, when it's smaller. So the top of the ear are brown. Oh my god! There you go. Field corn is used very definitely. I've, in the sweet I've corn. gone out to go and lick a fucking post that someone hopefully oh, has touched with coronavirus. Hold on. Apologies. I'll take that back. I was wrong. So Where according to this thing, that definitely sounds legit. It's that field mm-hmm. corn is for <laughs> making things like corn flour, right? Mm-hmm. So you're right. Sweet corn is corn on the cob. But sweet corn is the one we eat as corn. And mm-hmm. field corn, which is the bigger one, which is a, is the one they grind down into corn flour. There you go. There you go. Not and only popcorn? educating you. On, popcorn doesn't fucking matter. Just it's been heated up. <laughs> Not only educating you on the coronavirus, <laughs> but keeping you up to date on your corn facts. That's the over and out show. I've been Dylan. Who the fuck have you been? I've been Ryan. Enough. and barely being able to put up with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
It's anyway, let's minutes. finish this up. Thanks for watching. One weekend. See you tomorrow. Hey. See you tomorrow. Just shut Peace. up. Yeah. <laughs>